You know, th this is this is just a very microscopic world of the of the big world, and uh, but everything is really um, amplified. So you have many more ups and downs than you would have in normal life at home. So and that's what makes it quite special because you know you go through these big swings and uh, mainly maybe it numbs us when we're offshore, but for sure you. Um, you learn to deal with a lot of unexpected things. The other thing is that um, because you can be so focused about your, your job, because there are no distractions, that's what you do. You know, you can see it on the on the face of the guys. And, um, everybody is really trying to excel what they do, and uh, I think it it creates a very nice environment where everybody is. Uh, in the zone, there's no distractions. Um, there's a very unique atmosphere where, where because we all know what it is to be in the zone, people are um, letting each other free to get into that state. And um, so, even though we're a very tight knit team and we wear all the same team gear, actually underneath we're sort of a bunch of hippies. Yeah, we're, we're all very, very uh, strange characters in many ways. Um, but the fun thing is, on, in this environment, that's okay. Because everybody knows from, of each other that, that is, if you're allowed to be that weirdo, um, that's when you are in the zone and you perform. Yeah, Obviously, nice. you are very isolated on the boat. Yeah. You're away from all media, all, all kinds of information. Um, but at the same time, you're not in lack of impressions because you're 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 in the middle of it. Everything happens around you. You experience it the first time. You don't read about the storms or the or you don't see pictures of the beautiful sunsets or anything. You you experience it first time. You, you're there when it happens, as it happens. It's massive. It's beautiful. It sort of has had its moments, I'd have to say. One of them was when uh, my father passed away about um, seven years ago when I was at, whilst I was at sea and trying to actually deal with everything that was involved with that was pretty horrendous. Um, and, and being at sea was the last place I needed or wanted to be at that stage, but I was um, doing a transatlantic race and that's where I was and that's... that's you know, it had to be dealt with. So, um, yeah, it has its pluses and minuses, I'd have to say. But, um, but having said that, you know, my father would have, you know, he was, he was massively into me doing this sport. So, um, yeah, so I'm still doing it.